Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new Game Maker tutorial and today we're going to be looking at throwable grenades inside a Game Maker and the only thing that we have to do today is create three simple objects which is going to be an obj underscore player, an obj underscore grenade and an obj underscore explosion and then we will have grenades. So the only thing that I set up like I do in most of my tutorials is we have a 32 by 32 character that's centered and we have a 8 by 8 grenade that's centered as well and I also have the collision so it's an ellipsis. And the same with the SBR underscore explosion, it's just a 200 by 200 ellipsis circle that's already a little bit opacitated, and then it has another ellipsis collision mask. Nothing too hard to create, you guys can do either in the, in the sprite editor itself, but I did all mine in Photoshop. But again, I will link the project down below if you guys just want to tear stuff from this. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to quickly set up uh, OBG underscore player. So we're going to go into the create event. I'm just gonna enlarge the font a little bit for you. There we go. So we're just gonna quickly set up the um, the variables. So I have the variables. So move speed is 1.8, and then walk speed is 1.8. And then we're gonna have to go into step event. And then I'm just gonna copy and paste all these keys into here, so I don't have to fully write them out for you guys. So we have the key variables. So we have key left is A, and then key right is D, and then up is W and down is S. So it's just classic top down kind of shooter keys. And then we also have the new one, which is key grenade. And key grenade is the E button. So of course you guys can set this to whatever you want, if you want an F or V or Z, I don't know, whatever button you want. And I'm just going to copy and paste in the movement code that we've used in all our other tutorials. So key up, Y minus equals, key down, Y plus just so we can move along the axis on our basic player. And I also forgot that we need to assign the sprite. There we go. So the new bit of code that we're gonna be putting in here is the grenade. So if key grenade instance underscore create underscore depth. And if you guys are in Game Maker, it's just instance underscore create, but in Game Maker 2, you have to do depth. I'm just gonna set the depth to minus 100. Don't do this in the original Game Maker. It's just X, Y, and then OBJ. Um, and then we're going to do obj underscore grenade, which doesn't exist yet, but we are literally about to create that. And then that is everything for the player. So then we're going to create obj underscore grenade, and we're going to assign the grenade sprite to it. We're going to go into the create event, and in the create event, we're going to set the grenade travel speed. So the grenade travel speed is going to be speed equals to 10, so we're going to use the built-in speed function inside of Game Maker. And then the distance the grenade travels is going to be distance equals 5. And then you can edit that as well. And then we're going to do move towards. So what we're going to have a move towards is move towards underscore point. We're just going to do mouse underscore x comma mouse underscore y and make sure you set the speed to the same that the speed is set here. So it's going to be 10, 10. Make sure it is exactly the same because if you do it zero, it's just not going to move at all. And then we're going to do slash slash how long the grenade lasts. So the grenade is going to last approximately uh, 65 frames before we're going to be destroying it. So then we're going to go into alarm zero. And in this, we're going to do instance underscore destroy. But then we're also going to instance underscore create underscore depth. We're going to create x comma y comma minus 100. And then we're going to create obj underscore explosion. There we go. And that's everything for alarm zero. And then we're going to go into the step event. And we're going to do if speed is more than zero. So that's basically if it sees that the speed is more than zero, which it is when it's created. Um, and alarm one is lower than or equal to zero. And we're gonna create alarm one, but alarm one hasn't even been assigned, so it's automatically gonna be lower than zero. Alarm one equals distance, which is five that we set in the create event. And I'll show you guys another thing that you can do. So if you have walls in your game, you're gonna do if place underscore meeting and then you're going to do o x comma y comma obj underscore wall so if you have walls in your game or whatever it's called you're going to do direction is equal to direction plus 90 
so it's basically going to bounce off the wall in the opposite direction that's just hit the wall you can do minus 90 as well it really makes no difference but that's just if you guys have walls in your game but we don't so we're just going to take this out or else it's not going to work so we're going to take that up and then we're going to go into alarm zero alarm sorry not alarm zero alarm one and in alarm one we're going to do the speed of slowing the grenade speed of slowing grenade and that's going to be speed minus equals one so we're going to be slowing uh, every frame by one and then we're going to go into obj underscore explosion and in obj underscore explosion we're going to go to the create event and we're just going to set the depth to uh, equal minus a thousand just in case you guys don't have it if you have other depths make sure that this shows up on the top obviously um and then we're going to assign the sprite to that and we're going to go into the step event and in the step event we're going to do image underscore alpha is equal to image underscore alpha minus 0 0.05 so that's when it's created the uh, image alpha is going to disappear and then if if image underscore alpha is lower than or equal to zero instance underscore destroy wait why oh yeah i can't i my spelling is shocking instance underscore destroy and there you go that's everything so if the image alpha is lower than or equal to zero it's going to destroy it i have a room set up just a 1280 by 720 with a background color and in the instances we're going to drop in the player and we're going to launch the game and hopefully this should work first time so nice we have our player moving around and if i throw a grenade it then explodes so if you guys are wanting to cause damage to um let's say like a zombie or something what you do is is you go back into the explosion and then you do add event um, and you do collision i will just use the player just so i can write this for you and you do um other dot hp or whatever your so let's say your zombie is uh, zombie hp but it has to be a local variable then you do minus equals 50 so that's going to do 50 damage to your zombie or however much of the hp it has so that's what you want to do if it collides with it and then you can also make it destroy destroyable walls or do damage to the player if he self walks into it but yeah guys that is basically how you can get a basic working grenade in game maker so you just and then obviously you need to set how many you want the player to be able to throw and you can change all the variables inside of the grenade code to make it either slower faster um, blow up quicker blow up you know sooner stuff like that by the way if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to go and leave a like comment and subscribe as always and i will see you in the next one bye bye